Incredible victory of a single turtle against 2,000 men in battle is not about a real turtle but rather a strategic inspiration for the Allied forces generals. Using the concept of a turtle shell, they devised a brilliant plan. The Allied forces employed a large number of soldiers to create a maze that would manipulate the enemy's movements. These soldiers were armed with sharp weapons, which they used to slash the opponent's legs before pulling them into the maze for the final strike. But how did this strategy come about? In ancient China, during the declining years of the Han Dynasty, the emperor, heavily influenced by Prime Minister Cao Cao, faced challenges. Cao Cao warned of two provinces seeking to establish their own rule, prompting the need for preemptive strikes to eliminate their leaders and prevent rebellion. A counselor bravely speaks out against Prime Minister Cao Cao, accusing him of serving his own interests. However, Cho Chao swiftly executes the counselor for daring to oppose him. Undeterred, Cho Chao gathers a massive force of 800,000 troops and marches them into battle against the first province, led by a man named Lu Bai. Despite being vastly outnumbered, Lu Bai's small army puts up a valiant fight against the formidable imperial forces. However, one of Lu Bai's advisors named Juga observes the dire situation and realizes that they won't be able to hold out for long. Lu Bai's forces find themselves in a precarious position, fighting on two fronts. They struggle to fend off the enemy while also safeguarding a group of refugees whom Lu Bai has taken under his protection. After careful consideration, the leader Lu Bai decides that retreat is the best option. Some of his brave soldiers sacrifice themselves to buy time for the rest of the army and the refugees to escape. Meanwhile, in a nearby village, Lu Bai's wife is desperately trying to protect their infant child from the attackers. Fortunately, General Zhao arrives on the scene and bravely holds back the enemy forces. Despite his unmatched skills, the sheer number of enemies poses a formidable challenge. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Lu Bai's wife entrusts her baby to General Zhao and makes the tragic decision to end her own life by jumping into a well. Despite General Zhao's efforts to save her, he is unable to prevent her from taking her own life. As more enemy troops pour in, General Zhao improvises by securing the baby like a backpack and demonstrates once again his exceptional prowess in battle. As a larger contingent of enemy troops approaches, General Zhao swiftly mounts his horse and rides away to regroup. Meanwhile, in another part of the battlefield, General Zhang is valiantly holding the line against enemy troopers. When Prime Minister Cao Cao sends his cavalry to overwhelm Zhang's forces, Zhang's men employ a clever tactic. They angle a group of shiny shields towards the sun, causing the sunlight to reflect off the shields and blind the enemy horses. The blinded horses stumble and fall, throwing their riders to the ground. Seizing this opportunity, General Zhang orders his men to launch a counterattack. He himself joins the fray, demonstrating an unnatural strength as he effortlessly overpowers multiple opponents simultaneously. Just then, General Zhao arrives at the scene still carrying the baby, and jumps into the fight against the enemy forces. General Zhao's remarkable skills on the battlefield catch the attention of Prime Minister Cao Cao, who inquires about the identity of this exceptional fighter. Upon learning that it is General Zhao Cao, Cho Chao praises Zhao's bravery, noting that none of his own soldiers can match Zhao's courage. As the battle rages on, another formidable warrior joins the fray, showcasing incredible prowess in combat. This warrior effortlessly takes on multiple enemy soldiers single-handedly. In a dramatic turn of events, the warrior hurls his spear towards Cho Chao, even as enemy soldiers surround him with their own spears. Despite the perilous situation, the warrior manages to evade capture and charges towards Cho Chao. Surprisingly, instead of ordering his men to capture or kill the warrior, Cho Chao instructs them to stand down, allowing the warrior to escape. When questioned about this decision, Cho Chao cryptically remarks that the warrior will fight for him. Confident in this prediction, Cho Chao leads his army to victory in the war. After the dust settles and peace is restored, Lu Bai's generals return to him, including General Zhao. With a sense of gratitude and admiration, Zhao presents Liu Bai with his baby, symbolizing the unity and triumph achieved through their collective efforts. After expressing his gratitude to General Zhao, Liu Bai gathers his generals for a celebratory meal. During the feast, Juge makes a strategic proposal. He emphasizes that they cannot win the war against the imperial army alone and suggests reaching out to the leader of the Wu province for a coalition. Shuka volunteers to personally negotiate and finalize the alliance. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Cao Cao welcomes two new generals renowned for their expertise in sea battles, 
Kai Mao, and Zhang Yang. Kai presents a meticulously detailed map of the smaller provinces, claiming that it will provide them with a tactical advantage in the upcoming battles. In the Wu province, Shuka patiently waits for the ruler's son Quan to arrive at the palace. Once Sun Quan is present, Shuka wastes no time in conveying the urgent message. He explains that Cha Cho's forces will soon advance towards their region, and the only way to effectively counter them is through a unified effort. Sun Quan takes time to consider his options, winning the choice between going to war or surrendering to Prime Minister Cha Cho's forces.